Marriage has always been a big deal to my mother. She loves weddings, especially hers. And hers. And hers. And, well, you get the picture. But as easy as it was for my mom to get married, my relationships have never been clear for takeoff. I wanted to be a flight attendant. It's a great job. You get to travel around the world, meet interesting people, and see exotic places. But that hasn't left a whole lot of time for love. My mom says it's because I'm too picky. I don't think I'm picky. I just know what I don't want. I don't want a man with wandering eyes. Or one that cares more about his work than me. I don't want a guy with too much attitude or too little ambition. But I also don't want to end up alone, living in a house full of cats, smelling like soup. And I don't want to spend my entire life listening to my mother tell me how she can find five husbands and I can't even find one. But she won't be able to say that for long. A few months ago, I met this amazing guy on a flight to Miami. His name? is Graham, and I think he's the one. I've had a change of business plans, and it looks like I'll be spending Thanksgiving at home in Chicago. I know it's a short notice, but... Give me that, but if you can make it, I would love for you to join me for a weekend. You'll never forget. <laughs> love Graham. Graham is? This is what I've been dating for a few months. Wow. A few months? Yes. Yeah, that's a record, Mo. Shut up. Ta-da! <laughs> Montana! Buongiorno! Buongiorno, Taylor. <laughs> it's Zipolle. Mm. Oh. Uh, Italian donuts. Thank you, but uh, I'm watching my figure. All right, well, if, if you change your mind, there's plenty. Aww. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Aww. Bella. All right, I'll get you some milk. OK, sounds great. Right. Oh, she's so sweet. So what's with the Italian? She planned a trip to Rome to celebrate our one-year anniversary. Hello. Oh, okay, babe. I'll be right there. Just put in a new oven. Of course you did. Yeah. Are you ever gonna finish that place? William! Hey. Got it! Oh, I'm coming. Okay, good. Okay. I gotta go. Yes, you do. Uh -huh. Good luck in Rome. Oh, if it were me, you know, I would have chosen Paris. Hmm. Yes, so romantic. Well, good luck in Chicago. You think... Just because someone sends me a rose, I'm just gonna fly off to whatever town he's in? Absolutely. According to my mother, you're not a lady unless you're married on or before your 30th birthday. And you're not a woman until you've had at least two kids. And if you're not a lady and you're not a woman, you're like my best friend, Gail. Warm nuts. 
Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry. I got your nuts all messy. Sorry about that. <laughs> that all better? Happy Thanksgiving, welcome aboard. I could have been late too, you know. You remember 9F, Boston to Cleveland? He called and invited me to his cabin in Vermont, but I couldn't go, why? Because I had to be at work on time. Happy Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Why are you working this flight anyway? I thought you were off. I was, and now I'm not. Hello. Sam. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. I seem to have misplaced my badge. Gail, could you check your cleavage for me, please? <sighs> Controlling for men again, I see. Mm. Hi, welcome aboard. Okay, so check this out. A friend of my cousin's bought a penthouse on the top of the water tower. He is having a party tonight. There's gonna be lots of celebrities. Even Oprah is supposed to be there. So is Stedman, how often does that happen? I have an extra plus one. It has your name on it. Don't thank me, it's no problem. Wow, Sam, that sounds amazing. I'd love to, but I can't. A person would have to have one hell of a reason not to want yes. to party with Oprah, like they are dying or giving birth or uh, getting married, cranberry juice. You're getting married? Oh, Montana is not getting married. If she was being her best friend, I would know first. I'm not getting married. See? Not yet. <laughs> See? Now, does Mr. Not Yet have a name? Graham. Graham. Graham Jackson. Five C Philadelphia to Chicago. Yes. Graham Jackson. Blue label on the rock. Seven figures a year. Graham Jackson. Yes. You guys, you could have invited me for any holiday. Right. Christmas, New Year's Eve. But Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yes. Thanksgiving yes. feels like forever. Yes, it does. You think so? I do. <laughs> it's gonna be more than turkey getting snuffed. Oh. Such a hooker. Shut up. Does your mother know? No, and she's not gonna know until I have a ring on this finger, which I think is gonna be this weekend. <laughs> I just got a feeling, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Be right there with your vodka. Montana, when my grandmother was very sick, she gave me this, and I, I couldn't really understand what she was saying. She was in and out of consciousness, but I want you to have it. I think it'll help you find true love. Oh, thank you, Sam. That's so sweet of you. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I'm about to go, but before I do, I want you to have these cranberry flavored for the holidays. Oh, <laughs> go get them, girl. Thanks, Cam. These waters can get a little busy. Wow. Uh, Graham, you have talked about this for so long. Yeah. And I can't believe I finally got to see it. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, it's the first time we're together in the city where I actually live. Huh? <laughs> I wanted this to be special. It is. I wanted you to, to see a part of me that most people don't. Look at that water. It just seems like it could go on and on forever and ever. That's what I felt the day you walked into my life. And I was hoping that we could go on and on and on and on forever. Really? And ever since we first met, I knew that. I 
I thought you said we were going to your house. Um, we, we were. But I got an emergency phone call. And I have to fly to New York in the morning. There's tons of paperwork I gotta look over to prepare for my meeting. It's... I'm sorry. I booked you in the best suite in town. I'll make it up to you when I come back. I promise. Well, I could help you. I could come with you. <laughs> That's sweet. Let me just take care of this business. I'll be back in a couple of days. And it's just gonna be me and you. All right? So are you guys doing it? No, we're not doing it. If we were doing it, I would not be answering my phone. I would. So how was it? It's none of your business. It was that bad, huh? I didn't say it was bad. Well, you didn't say it was good. It was good. It was damn good. Then why are you answering the phone? Well, if you must know, Graham had an emergency business call, and he had to fly out for an early meeting. And being the gentleman that he is, he Put me up at this amazing hotel in one of the best suites. Girl, please. Montana, that man did not ask you to fly all the way to Chicago on Thanksgiving to insist that you stay in a hotel. I smell a rat. Gail, I don't want to hear it. Hear what? That he dropped you off so he can dip his turkey neck in another woman's gravy? Graham is not seeing another woman, OK? Prove it. How? By going to his house and, and seeing for yourself. Gail. I am not going over to that man's house. Do you know how crazy that would make me look? Gail, I'm here. Where? Graham's house. Oh, he came back and picked you up. <laughs> sort of. You are my baby dad. You went to his house uninvited? Gail, you told me to. Yeah, but I didn't think you would do it. Are you kidding me right now? What are you doing now? I'm going to his front door. Mm-mm. Do not knock on that man's door. You're going to look like a stalker. Right now, you just look desperate. Well, what am I supposed to do? Go around the back. Oh. 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 Okay. What the hell was that? Hello? He's at the back door. Somebody out there. What am I supposed to do? Do you see a trash can? Yeah? Why? Get in it. Have you lost your mind? I am not getting in a trash can. If I'm wrong about Graham, and he catches Hello? you sneaking around his house, you can forget about a future together. Get in the can. <laughs> what are you doing now? Are you nuts? You told me to. Hello? Montana. Yes. What are you doing now? I'm looking through his window. Gail, it's beautiful. Any panties on the floor? No. Huh. He's preparing for his meeting just like he told me he was. Huh. Gail was wrong. Graham was alone. And I was right where I wanted to be. Sipping from the same mug, resting on the same rug. Just the two of us, hey. and the kids, and friends. <laughs> Toasting to our wonderful life. 
What was that noise? The sound of us toasting. No, that is the sound of somebody coming in the house. Duck! Montana, you want to talk about it? Go away. <laughs> hey, you've been playing the same song all day. Come on, let's get something to eat. I don't want to get dressed. OK, fine. You don't have to get dressed. But you got to get out of this apartment. OK? I don't have to get dressed. Well, my cooking always cheers you up. Sit right here. Right here. Hello, wine. Mo, you love avocado. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Hey, beautiful. We are so excited. We wanted you to be the first to know. I wanted you to be the first to know. After me. I'm engaged! <laughs> Derek proposed with a two-carat diamond ring. I didn't get my first carrot to my third marriage. Montana, does this single rose mean um, you're not single anymore? Nothing. <laughs> Listen, Cherie's fiance is taking us all out to dinner tonight. I'm borrowing those earrings I bought you for Christmas. Oh, yes, honey. <laughs> I should have bought them for myself. <laughs> He's on track to break the college record for most receptions in a season, maybe even win a Heisman. You know I'm happy for you, Rachel. Yeah. But you're just a sophomore in college. You barely know what you want to major in, much less who you want to spend the rest of your life with. Why now? Why not now? He's a great guy. And I'm not trying to wait until I'm all old, like, like me. Montana, I didn't mean it like Girls, that. girls, what do you think? Ah, uh, yes, fabulous. I hate them. Mom's even letting me wear her wedding dress. You can pick whichever one you want. There's only one thing that would make this the best wedding ever. A bridesmaid again? I just, I just <laughs> can't go to my little sister's wedding single. I'll be the laughing stock of my entire family. Well, if what you need is a man, honey, I can get you one of those. Stop hey, don't embarrass me. It's not a man I need. It's a husband, or at least a potential husband, in a month. Why don't you marry Gail? If she goes a week without waxing her mustache, they'll think it's Steve Harvey. Guys, I'm serious. Why is it so hard to find the right guy? Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Now, it seems like a girl could have everything, right? An MBA, a J-O-B. But no M-A-N. That's because men are intimidated by strong women. I never tell guys that I have a degree. It's because you don't have a degree. You know what? Sam, you keep missing the damn point. I should just give this back to you. What? It's hopeless with me. Montana, you're not showing up single. Let me see your phone. Wait, wait. Uh, <laughs> let me just hang on. Now, look, it's not like she's got enough time to meet somebody new, so. Why not revisit somebody else? I don't even pop, know pop, of pop, any... Pop, pop, pop. Picky is single. 
Now, if we're lucky, one of these guys might have blossomed into Mr. Wright. Let me see. I wasn't... She hasn't talked to any of these guys in years. If she coincidentally bumped into one of them on a plane, she might. Yeah, but how would I even know if any of them were traveling? It's the holiday season. Everyone's traveling. And when someone's about to fly, what's the first thing they do? They book a flight. And there's Tanya in ticketing. Hi, I'm Tanya. Welcome to Transalliance. May I please have your ID? And it's Frankie in the Frequent Flyer program. Thank you for choosing Transalliance. How can I help you? I turn them on and I hook up at the Louis Vuitton store, so they both owe me biggies. There's Calvin at Curbside Check-In. Hi, I'm Calvin from Curbside. Welcome to Transalliance, a flight you can afford where your soul and your bag can be on one accord. And there is Cedric in security. First name Cedric, last name take everything out your pockets. I need your pockets out your pockets. For the next few weeks, any ex of yours that flies anywhere at any time will know. And all we have to do is arrange your schedule so you're on the same flight. First of all, this is the stupidest idea ever. Secondly, of all, there's the degree. Assuming that you could find out when these guys are flying, which I doubt because it's your dumbass idea. Hey, all. These are all men that you've dated before, and it didn't work out. So what is going to make this any different? Because this time she'll be different. Same action, same outcome. New actions, new outcome. Clearly, we have all had too much to drink because this is illegal. We can all get fired and we can go to jail. Or we could come to the aid of the sweetest and most romantically deserving human being alive and we can help her find the truest and the fastest love of her life. We got 30 days and we got 30,000 miles. To be brought up on federal charges. To find me a husband. <laughs> I just don't understand why you guys think that this is a good idea. It's the 21st century. You don't need a man to define you. Gail, everyone I know is getting married and having kids. So what? So? I want someone to love me too. Someone who thinks I'm the best, that only sees me in the room. I know it might sound corny or unrealistic, but I know he's out there. And I don't want to wait any longer. And you think you're going to find him in 30 days? Of course not. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, Sam. Hey, it worked. It actually worked. What work? Our plan. He is on a flight from Los Angeles to New York with a connection in Houston. Who? One of your exes, Damon Diesel. Just a second. You gotta be kidding me. Damon Diesel could barely take care of himself, much less a family. Try Googling him. He has produced three number one singles in the last year, okay? Not to mention he's Essence's Bachelor of the Month. Now I'm telling you, he is looking for Mrs. Diesel. Ah! I gotta hey! Go. I'm on the toilet! Sam, I love you. But I'm not getting on that flight, okay? Montana! Montana. Oh my god, my mom has come over uninvited again. I'm gonna jack you up. I'm gonna jack you up hard. I gotta go. Montana. Oh, honey, mama's having a rough day. Yeah? All this planning for your sister's wedding, it's just making me feel like such a failure. Mom, five marriages doesn't make you a failure. I wasn't talking about me. I started thinking, my youngest daughter is marrying a wonderful, handsome, athletic young man. Yes, she is. And I might not even be alive to see my oldest do the same. <laughs> anyway, we have got to discuss your sister's rehearsal dinner. Seeing you are a maid of honor again. Gosh, I'd love to talk about this, but I have a flight to catch. Why didn't you tell me you had a flight to catch? Well, if you would have called, I would have told you. Listen, you make sure you call me when you land. I will call you whenever I get to wherever I'm going. I love you. Bye. Sam, what's the flight number?
body's looking good. Yeah? Yeah. I almost didn't recognize you. Well, some of us like to update our image every decade or so. Hey, this was the truck that my father bought before he started his business. This is vintage. I wasn't talking about the truck. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get to the airport? <laughs> uh, so, uh, what's the occasion? Oh, I'm meeting a friend in Houston and then we're flying to New York. Why would you be flying all the way to Houston? to meet a friend in New York is just an hour away. Well, he doesn't exactly know I'm meeting him. It's a surprise. This wouldn't have anything to do with Cherie's wedding, would it? No, it has nothing to do with it. Okay, maybe it does. Hmm. A little. You know, my parents were together almost 40 years before my dad passed away. He kept the same job, drove the same truck, and stayed in love with the same woman. Every night at 6 o'clock, there was an oven-cooked meal sitting at the table waiting for me. Same one? <laughs> Poor woman. You know, Mo, the magic isn't in getting married. It's in staying married. Sorry, you know me. Bye, bye, see you bye. later. Thank you. Hey, Mo, Mo, your lipstick. She's always forgetting something. Cedric. Whoa, whoa, Cedric. nobody move, back up. Nobody move. Sorry, excuse me, it's an emergency. Okay. I have no life. Which gives me all day to ruin yours. Welcome aboard Trans Alliance Flight 143, nonstop from Baltimore to Houston. Welcome to Houston Hobby Airport. Y'all have a nice day now. Yes, Sam, I'm on the plane in a dress I can barely breathe in, but he's not here. Who? Damon Diesel. He's not on the flight. He's on the flight? No, he's not. Sam, this is ridiculous. I don't know how you convinced me to do this, but I'm leaving. I love you. Bye. Love to be the stitches in that skirt. Thank you. Huh? Montana Moore. Damon Diesel. What's up? Wow, not much. You look great. <laughs> so, so you're in first class? That's the only way to ride. Yeah. Well. <sighs> Well, okay, I'll be sitting down. Now, usually, I don't really worry about jewelry. It's foolery, but something about the way you look on my arm. And all on my neck like you're my charm. So, so fresh when we step out midnight. Up in the spot, be chillin', sit tight. Now, when I'm gone, you can be gone. Whoa, you we'll look worried. So, how long are you in town? Ah, uh, two or three days. I have some meetings and family to see. Okay. How long are you in town? Long enough. Long enough for what? Long enough for us to spend some quality time. If I'm allowed. You're allowed. Great. Let's go. Come on. OK, let's go. After you. I can't believe we ran into each other. It's crazy. Come and take a ride with me. Do the shows, get paid, and slide with me. Busy. Damon Diesel. What's up? Can I get you something to drink? The usual. Bottle of Chateau Margot 66. Coming right up. What up, Well, listen, you should think way larger than that. London, Dubai. Can you check? Well, thank you. See you next time. You know, Damon, I should probably get back to my hotel. I've got an early morning, and a girl does need her beauty rest, so. Oh, real talk. You can stay awake the rest of your life, and you still be beautiful to me. Thank you, Damon. No, nah, like. Being with you tonight, got a brother on some like, to death do we part shit. <laughs> no, really don't laugh. Why are you laughing? Hey, Damon, I've been trying to reach you. Uh, 
Janine, Montana, Montana, Janine. Hi. Janine and her husband work with me at the label. Damon, look, could you call me when you get a moment? I want to wrap up a few things with you, okay? All right, have a good evening. Well, it was really nice to meet you, Janine. You too. Where were we? <laughs> to us. So this is it. Work hard, play hard, baby. Clearly. <laughs> I want to show you something, too. Okay. Check this out. A little different than the last time you saw me. Uh, yeah, you think? I hope you like it. Come on. Okay, coming. It's sexy, right? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I mean, you're doing big things. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm not getting in the hot tub. You know you want to. <laughs> Maybe, but I'm still not getting in. Okay. You stop acting silly. Is that meant to be inviting? Damon? Damon! Damon, I know you hear me. Who is that? Look. I thought you said you weren't seeing anybody. That's Janine. The lady from the restaurant? Damon! This is your house, Tell her you've got company. I can't. Why not? This ain't my house. It's hers. I can't afford this shit, man. Damn it! Stop this damn door! You can afford a Range Rover and, mm -mm. and you have that titanium American Express card. That shit hers, too. You said she was married. She is, like, sometimes Damn she not. I know you ain't got that hoe from the restaurant in there. Who's she calling a hoe? You sh I'm not sure she nothing. You better she. She crazy. I'm gonna shoot you and that bitch because you know I'm crazy. I told you she crazy. Crazy, she crazy. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Open, 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 open. When she come through the door, when she break the door down, you don't want to be here. Yeah, well, where should I be? You don't know who you I am not getting on that fire escape. You better open up this damn door. Damon, yeah, uh -huh, I got something for you. Where is this thing? Yes, Sam? Is so is Sam's dumbass idea working? Did he pop the question? I'm oh, on a no fire escape. I'm going to assume that's a no. Anyway, bachelor number two is on the flight in the morning from Atlanta to D.C. To meet him, you need to be at JFK in an hour to catch the last commuter flight out tonight, so you can make his connecting flight in the morning. You've now got 69, I mean 59. <laughs> 59 minutes, honey, you got 59 minutes. I'm looking for the bitch, too. Bitch, Could this get any worse? Hey, Montana, it's your mother. Listen, Marie decided to have a bridesmaid slumber party at the last minute, so we're all over here in our pajamas, and we want you to come over. All right, sweetie, I love you. <laughs> now, you know damn well you don't need that cooking. Don't sit down. Pilot speaking, flight time today to Reagan International Airport is one hour and 40 minutes. Sit back and enjoy the short flight. Sir, can I offer you a blanket? No, thank you. Montana. <gasps> Langston. <laughs> Montana. Curtis. Hi. Would you like a blanket? I'm okay. Hey, two of my exes are on the plane. Okay, I, I knew about Langston, but who's this other guy? Curtis, he and Langston are both on the flight. Hold on, let me get Sam. Sam! Curtis is here too. I thought you said he got married. I thought he did, but I don't think he is anymore. He's not wearing a wedding ring. None of the married guys I date wear wedding rings. I mean, it's just tacky. Go with Langston. He's running for Congress, which means soon he'll be looking for a running mate. Curtis. Oh, hey, man. Langston. You know Montana? 
Oh, yeah, yeah, we're all friends. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for takeoff. Welcome to Radio. You know, I'm, uh, I'm running for Congress now. Really? Yes, yes, and I'm having dinner tonight with some potentially major uh, campaign contributors. I was wondering, would you happen to know a young lady, gorgeous, intelligent, uh, that would be so gracious as to join me? If asked, I might. All right, well, consider yourself asked. Consider yourself answered. After you. Right over here, this is me. Wow, Langston, you done really well for yourself. Well, thank you. This actually is my, probably my favorite room in the house. I can see why. Oh! Hey. Oh, look, you have a dog! Yes. Montana, this is Juicy. Juicy, this is Montana. She's so cute. Can I pet her? <laughs> Juicy! Juicy, stop that. Shame on you. I'm sorry. She's jealous. She likes to uh, mark her territory. I understand. You know, if you were around more often, Juicy wouldn't have these problems. So, um, by being around more often, would just be for Juicy? Oh, yes, yes, strictly, strictly mm -hmm. for Juicy. Mm -hmm. Listen, I hope it's okay. I had my assistant pick you out something to wear. I'm assuming your sizes are the same as I remember. Yeah, I, I hope so. <laughs> you find it hanging in the bathroom. It's uh, two doors down to the left. Great. All right. Okay. Bye, Juicy. Ah. We're gonna be friends. I can feel it. I certainly yeah. hope so. Okay. See you shortly. Juicy P. Montana, please allow me to introduce you to Howard Donaldson and his beautiful wife, Estelle. Mr. Donaldson is the owner and founder of Donaldson Steel, which is the largest contractor in the Washington uh, metropolitan area. And who might this stunning young lady be? I mean, she is too pretty to be your date. You got that right. This is Montana Moore, uh, my very significant other. She was gracious enough to actually get on a plane, fly here to join us for dinner tonight. Well, young lady, I hope you're prepared to withstand the heat which this coming election will surely bring. Well, oh, Montana comes from a long line of flame retardant women, so he's gonna be just fine. All right. I got a great table. Come on, let's, let's go. get it. Flame retardant. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you surprised me. Uh, how you doing, sir? <clears throat> May I take your drink order? Yeah, I'll have a Scotch single malt on the rocks and a Shirley Temple with extra cherries for my wife. That sounds good. I'll have exactly what the gentleman is having. And uh, the lady will also have a Shirley Temple extra cherries. Oh, no. Actually, no, sir. Oh, I'd like Oh, it's OK. It's OK. I got it. A Shirley Temple, please. Thank you. Huh? Uh, oh, actually, would you please excuse us? I'm dying to show Montana a breathtaking view of the atrium. Excuse us. Sweetheart, now listen. These are the kinds of contributors. Uh, they want to know that the candidate that they're investing in is a leader. You know what I mean? Like a take charge type of man. Now, if I, if I sit there and let you order your own drink, then, then that would be like you're leading. And I can't. I know, look. But please, just okay. bear with me. I promise you, when this whole thing is over, I'll take you wherever you want to go, and you can order for the entire restaurant. Right, but can you just, can you do me the solid? For me. <laughs> sure, of course. I'll do it for you. Okay, thank you. Okay. You look great tonight. Okay. You look great. Uh, okay. Langston, your record in the city council is impeccable. Well, thank you. If you're not elected to Congress, it won't be because of insufficient financial support. <laughs> I like that sound. Oh, Mr. Donaldson. I can't tell you uh, how much this means to me, us. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, there is no reason that you can't do something for your people. I'm, you could do something really great, historic, maybe. I mean, we're talking about like, the Obamas, <laughs> the Williams sisters, like uh, Tiger Woods. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> well, if, uh, <laughs> if you're referring to uh, the American people, then yes, I have every intention of uh, making the American people very proud. Well, you know, I was thinking specifically of your people, the black people. Uh, well, I, uh, I live in Georgetown, so I guess these, these would be my people. And Tiger Woods lives in Florida, so those would be his people. Are you saying that where Tiger Woods lives, makes him irrelevant to people of the same skin color? You'd first have to determine Tiger Woods' skin color. He's black. <clears throat> uh, well, I think what would make Tiger Woods black uh, would be his passion for things uh, that are related to the African-American race as a whole, which he has not yet proven to have. What I think would make Tiger Woods black is the fact that he drives an Escalade and his daddy's name is Earl. <laughs> Escalade? Why would you... And daddy named Earl? It was a joke. <laughs> Things were getting heavy, and I, I just I was trying to lighten them up. Josie, no. Uh, yes, this is Langston. Good evening, sir. Yeah, yes, yeah, she is. Uh, she is quite the funny lady. I'm sorry. Of course, of course. Well, I accept. Yes, thank you again, sir. Good night. Well, this is Mr. Donaldson. Just doubled his contribution. <gasps> Apparently, your little Tiger Woods joke uh, was the highlight of his evening. <coughs> Josie, go pee. <coughs> oh, well, then the dinner was a success. Langston, we should celebrate. Look. Okay. <sighs> There's a saying. Mm. Behind every great man, there is an even greater woman. And I want that for you. I want you to be greater. But sometimes being greater means being quiet. <laughs> I, I always thought the saying was beside every great man. Beside behind, between, it's all semantics. The point is that if she is to be great, wherever she is, she must follow, and he must lead. Well, when I led, I got you twice as much money. Hey, but it's, it's not about, about the money. Well, then what's it about? Okay, I'll tell you what it's about, Juicy. I'm running for office here. Did you just call think... me Juicy? Did I? Yeah, you did. Oh, well, I, I apologize. I don't know how I could confuse you two because Juicy knows how to obey. Juicy, come! Yeah, see that? You know what? New actions, new outcome. Same asshole, same outcome. You haven't changed a bit, Langston. Oh, and I'm keeping the outfit and the shoes. I think I've earned them. Hey, get off me, little Juicy! 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 Hello? Hey, it's me. I didn't wake Taylor, did I? No. Uh, my grandma got sick, so she went out of the town to see her. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope she feels better. You doing anything? Not anymore. Wanna watch a movie? Sure. Great, can you come pick me up? No, you live across the hall. 
I'm not at home, silly. I'm in Georgetown. Hello? William? Hello? Hello? William, sorry about that. I guess we got cut off. No, I hung up. Oh. Yeah, sure, of course. I guess a 25-year friendship doesn't give me the right to call you or expect you to drive less than an hour just because I'm stranded at midnight in the crime capital of the world. Wait, stop. No, don't. I don't have any money, and I don't have any real friends either. No! Stop! <sighs> so cool out there. Yeah? Comfortable? Yeah. Mm. So why didn't you call one of your friends to come and pick you up? Oh, that's right. He lives in uh, sh Chicago. Oh, no, was it Houston? Uh, no, 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 no. New York City, right? <laughs> mm. Yeah, <laughs> I know. This all seems very silly to you, doesn't it? Okay, I'm sorry you had a rough night. It has been a very rough night. God, it's cold in here. Does vintage mean you don't have any heat in this car? <laughs> Yeah. Come over here, sit next to me. I'll keep you warm. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Can you give me hope that there's still some good men out there? Making me watch a movie at two in the morning. Oh well, you yeah. on VHS. <clears throat> All righty. Our choices: Into the Dragon, uh -huh. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, or The Last Dragon. Woo! Do you have misery? The Last Dragon. There you go. You get it started. I'm making some drinks. <laughs> uh. Mo. Yeah. The color in the dining room. Cherry or espresso? Espresso. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Wait, is this our high school yearbook? Yeah, my mom, she was cleaning the garage and found it. I am surprised your picture didn't slide off the page. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot you'd be walking around with that activator. <laughs> oh, you are funny. You must have forgot how you look. It wasn't a tube of gel and a thousand miles that was safe. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at our prom. Uh, we were getting down. No, I was getting dumped. My day got jealous and left. Oh, it's not my fault you couldn't dance. What was that song we were dancing to? Toast to us never dancing or dressing like that ever again. <laughs> Cheers. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know what else my mom found? Um, some DVDs, a couple romantic comedies, hopefully. Hey, stop talking about the black man's mother. <laughs> you remember this? Please don't tell me you still have that. <laughs> Paging Dr. William Wright. <laughs> hey, if it wasn't for this, you wouldn't even know you had a heartbeat. 
You didn't know I had a heartbeat because you're always trying to put on my booty. So what you trying to say? Your booty ain't got a heartbeat? I don't think it does. I don't think it does. You don't? Mm, nah. Come on, let me check. Let me check yeah. you, young oh, lady. Can I check it? Oh, man. Oh, my God. Please. I can tell, young lady, mm -hmm. you're from African heritage. I, thank you. <laughs> okay. I think I'm starting to hear something. Yeah. You better be glad you know a doctor who can make house calls. Is that all you can make? Still up for a movie? Mo, you forgot your. <laughs> She's always forgetting something. Quite the dream you were having, little girl. Uh-huh. You were sleeping so peacefully, I thought I'd take the time to clean that nasty little kitchen of yours. Did I ever tell you the way a woman keeps her kitchen is the way a woman keeps her man? <laughs> I don't know. Mom, in the spirit of me keeping my sanity, I think it would be really great if we could establish some clear-cut boundaries. Boundaries? After 74 and a half hours in labor, struggling to give you life. Is how you thank me? <laughs> well, you're welcome. And I am leaving. Mom. And do me a favor, Pigpen. That little funky attitude you got, don't bring that to your sister's wedding. We don't need it, okay? Uh-huh. Maybe I won't have a funky little attitude. Maybe because I'll have someone of my own. And I'm bringing him to Cherie's rehearsal dinner. What do you think about that, huh? Really, Montana? So you told your mother what? Well, I had to say something. I had to get off my back. You know how she is. Yeah, she got off your back, but then the 10,000-pound gorilla jumped on. Very you. <laughs> You'll see. I'll see you, uh -huh. huh? You okay. will. Montana. Isha, it's so good to see oh, you. Good to see you, good to see you. This is my good friend, William. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, for bridesmaid. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Try on. OK. Thank you very much, Isha. For the groom. Try on. Um. No, I'm not the groom. Oh, but you're the same size as groom. Try on. I need measurement. <sighs> this could have been you, you know. I proposed to you, and your answer is like, eee. You proposed to me in elementary school during recess because you wanted my cupcake. And the only way you knew you could get it was by giving me the toy ring at the bottom of your Cracker Jack box. At least I offered you a ring for it. That's more than I can say for the men you've dated since. <laughs> Touche. If I had known the proposals would have been so infrequent, I would have accepted. And then we'd be married. Oh, you look amazing. You don't look half bad yourself. Huh? 
I gotta get this. Taylor. So, uh, how's your grandmother doing? Miss you too. Sam, got one, baby. Flight 1763, headed to Houston. Sitting in C3A, baby. Houston, we got a problem. There with my president. This boy got some freaking fly miles. He's on his way to Miami. Got another one, Sam, on his way to Detroit. Motank. It'll just be one sec. I just need a minute, please. Just one second, please. Like light skinned dudes, I got Leo DiCaprio up here. Do my husband have to be a man? These wings are made to fly. Now is not the time to get down on yourself, Montana. In a week, maybe. Thank you. Oh, don't mention it. Ooh. Taylor? Montana! What a ho ho ho. Surprise. How's your grandmother? William is much better looking. And he's a great guy. And she's out here being a two-timing whore. Montana. Taylor. Look, I know this must look really bad. Um, but what you don't know is me and William broke up. That's a long story. Anyway, um, I'd appreciate it if you don't mention it. You know how it is when you break up. It's Wounds still open. Sure, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, could you get me a hot tea? Two sugars, no cream. Ciao. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Flight 901 is headed to New Mexico. Feliz Navidad. Got another one, Hold Sam. On, Five on six, baby. Here he is, coming straight to Los Angeles. You want him? Excuse me. Baby. You mind? Sorry, I'm really sorry. Sorry. Four days left before the wedding. I'm just gonna get some rest and hop on the first flight in the morning. Thanks for trying. Yeah, I love you too. Okay. Bye. Montana Moore, do you know what time it is? It's about 10 o'clock in L.A. Yeah, it's 1 a.m. in Baltimore. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, I just thought that maybe you might want to, you know, talk. About? Come on, William. How long have we known each other? You can tell me. Mo, what are you talking about? William, I'm talking about... Montana! Hey! Taylor! <laughs> I was just thinking about you, too. Yeah? Oh, oh, you got another phone call. Taylor, okay, don't oh, you do I'll that. Tell him. Taylor, okay. don't. All right, Merry Christmas really to you, too. Out. Bye. Okay, I'm not gonna tell him. What happened to the Italian guy? What?
you working on? Just trying to figure things out. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, I like this. this little thing here. Oh, yeah. Mm. Anybody in the holiday spirit? Mm -hmm. yeah. Come on, it's open mic. Mm -hmm. Cottage small is what I'm after. Not one that's spacious and wide. A house that's filled. What? You just whispered in that. I want that to fall inside. I'm sleeping right now. Okay. I like the, some people like the highlights. I like the low life. You know what I'm talking about? Free from the stress and drive. Come on now. Town, home, city. But yes, simply give me the simple life. Yeah. You know? Okay. Bravo, bravo. That was amazing. Quentin. Montana. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, oh. please. Oh my god. Don't be. You were wonderful. Really? Well, no. <laughs> It's so good to see you. Yeah, me too. I'm so pleased you still remember me. Of course I remember you. You were on my route for over a year. LA to New York. But let me see if I can remember. I'm Columbia graduate. Top of your class, of course. Hobbies, racquetball, skiing, and art. I guess it's obvious how much I enjoyed talking to you during our flights. Well, we were always lucky that there was an empty seat next to you so we could talk. No, it wasn't luck. I pay for both seats. You didn't. Of course. Excuse me. Oui, Monsieur Jameson. Oh, quelque chose à gagner. Des amis gueux. Parfait. Yeah. Merci. Avec plaisir, Madame. I have no idea what you just said, but you don't have oh, to do this. I insist. Come on, let's go have a drink. Okay, if you insist. <laughs> So you've been a maid of honor nine times? Yes. I should get the Guinness Book of World Records on the line. A little bit more like Ripley's, believe it or not. Yeah, it could have been 10, actually, but uh, my cousin called off her third wedding the day before, so it's really nine with an asterisk. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I know. As you requested, Mr. Jameson. <laughs> oh, my. Quentin, this is too much. You can never have too much of a good thing. Besides, it's on a house. So you work for the hotel? I own the hotel. This hotel? Yes. It's a lovely day for going nowhere. It's a lovely day for being in love. It's a lovely Feel like chasing the clouds away To a perfect place I'm dreaming of It's a lovely day for going nowhere Ah, <laughs> uh, wow. Have you ever imagined what it would feel like? Take off a year? And trouble the world. What woman has it? But without the means or the time, it just remains just that a thought, a dream. So, so if you're given the means, would you find the time? Um, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> oh, you think this sunrise is beautiful? Would you see the sunrise in the Serengeti? Or the view from the top of the Eiffel Tower? We could go shop in Milan, cruise the Greek Isle on a private yacht. Wow, that, that sounds incredible. <laughs> Quentin, I, I'm so flattered. I don't know what to say. Say, I accept your invitation. You mean, a proposal? 
if that's what you want to call it, then yes. Well, well, where do you want me to call it? I'm taking some time off to travel the world, and I'm asking you to join me. Montana, if you thought I was talking about marriage, I've tried it twice, and all it did was ruin two very good friendships. <laughs> Listen, if marriage is what you need, you should find someone willing to give you that. But if passion and adventure is what you want, you'll never want it again. I'm passing through DC in a couple of days on my way to Rome, and then to London, and then to Greece. I'll have my system book your ticket to all three places just in case. Okay. Well, uh, listen, if you're gonna be in DC, uh, I'd really like you to come to my sister's rehearsal dinner. I mean, it's not gonna be anything fancy like you're used to, but we could talk about it then. Okay. Now you get some rest and think about it. Yes? why it's so hard to find the perfect guy. Maybe he just doesn't exist. From the first time we met Saw a glow I can't forget Felt the sun rise and set Doing? About to get ready for the rehearsal dinner. Come on in. It's your mailman. <sighs> this is from your mailbox. Never do that. And that's from me. Oh. Yeah, that's an early Christmas gift. Thanks. It'll help get your mother off your back. Well, that's no longer a problem. Because tonight at Cherie's rehearsal dinner, after my sister introduces her soon-to-be husband, I'm going to be making an introduction of my own. <laughs> What's so funny? You, you're starting to turn into your mother. No. I'm just realizing that maybe fairy tales don't come true. We weren't all lucky enough to have parents like you that, that ate dinner every night together for 40 years. Listen, I never said my parents was perfect. They went through it just like any other couple. But when they took those vows, they meant it. My mom, she loved my dad, and my dad loved her back. Well, um, my mom loved my dad, and then she loved another man, and another man, and another man. People get married and divorced. That's just what people do. You spent your whole life being your own woman. Why, why are you going to change now? Who said anything about not being my own woman? I just would really like to be somebody else's, too. Somebody's or anybody's? You know what, um, William? Why don't you save your really great relationship advice for someone who really needs it? Like your girlfriend, Taylor, when she's kissing some Italian dude at 30,000 feet. Wow. That's my cue. 
Merry Christmas, Mom. <sighs> well, I thought you should know. Thank you, I know. William. I'm sorry. Montana, it's your mother. I've told everybody about your announcement. <laughs> so don't let me down. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As you all know, my youngest daughter is marrying a handsome young man from Rhode Island. Rocky Mountain. <laughs> Rocky Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? We invited Same thing as you, just being all nosy. To welcome him to the family and give him a last chance to back out. <laughs> <laughs> but before I bring you my youngest daughter, I'd like to present to you my oldest, who has an announcement that is lovely and long overdue. I give you Montana. Montana, <laughs> baby. Come on up here. <laughs> So, um, I have an announcement, as I'm sure you are all aware of. <laughs> the tricky thing about announcements is that you, um, you need to have something to announce in order for it to be an announcement. What is she doing? So, um, I don't know. <clears throat> here, it, uh, here it is. Friends, family, fellow Americans. Langston. Langston. Montana. I was flipping through the newspaper and I saw the notice for your sister's wedding. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. You look ravishing. Thank you. Montana. Who is he? I was thinking about what you said. You were right. A woman can lead. Under the right circumstances, of course. One of which is a campaign brunch next week with a very influential senator. This is to beside, behind, and to nothing coming between us. Montana, would you? Oh, yes, she will. No, I won't. Yes, she will. I won't. Won't. Montana, what's gotten into you? Mom, what has gotten into you? You don't even know this man. Hi. Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. You're just gonna marry me off to the, the first person you see? Unbelievable. I mean, this is a man who I would never marry. And I wouldn't even vote for you. <laughs> I don't trust black Republicans, I'm sorry. I'm actually a libertarian. You know, I spent the last 30 days looking for somebody, anybody, to come here tonight so I could fit in, be part of the club. So all of you would say, we love you, Montana. You, you did it, we're so proud of you, you're a lady. But marriage doesn't make you a lady any more than standing in a garage makes you a car. It's a weird analogy. So, um, here's my announcement. I'm not getting married. <laughs> I don't even have any prospects. Yeah, no, none, zero. I'm all alone. But, to meet somebody 
I have been really, really needing to meet. Me. And uh, it turns out, I like me. A lot. <laughs> With or without a husband. And uh, I say this all to say, from your older sister, that if you are really in love with Derek, and you can't imagine spending another day without him, and you two should absolutely get married. And I'm so happy for you. But if you're making this decision for any other reason, sweetie, you're making the biggest mistake of your life. You know, um, a really good friend of mine once told me, the magic, the magic isn't in getting married. It's in staying married. I don't know. So what are you saying? You, you don't want to get married now? Do you? I was just doing this because your mom said we had to. Baby, we can wait until after we graduate. Maybe just get to know each other a little better. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Let me guess. Come here. I'm fine with that. I love you. Oh, me too. I feel so much better. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Thank you. Langston Jefferson Battle III, and I am running for United States Congress. You met someone yourself? You met yourself? <laughs> I had to say I was introducing someone. Okay. Uh, Whatever you need, we are here for you, okay? Right by your side. That's right. Montana? From up way over there. Uh huh, from way, way, uh, way, way over there. I'll be right there, okay? Wait for me. Not yes, now, sir. Mom. Montana, Montana, wait. Listen, Mom, I need a few days, weeks, maybe even a month. I can't give you that. I can risk losing another husband, but not my daughter. I was proud of you in there. <laughs> that woman in there was the woman I raised you to be. Confident, smart, independent. A lady. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was scared. I put all that pressure on you and your sister because I didn't want you to go through five husbands like I did. Do you mean that? Of course I do. And you know I do. I don't know if I ever told you this. But your father was my first. And only true love. And I loved him until the day he died. You're too young to remember, Montana. But every Sunday, your father would let me sleep. He'd rush downstairs to make pancakes. Oh my God, he'd rattle his pots and pans and carry on down there. <laughs> and then he'd yell up the stairs. He'd go, Catherine, you come on down here and eat these pancakes. I wouldn't move. <laughs> then come over there and he'd kiss me on my cheek. So sweet. He said, get up, baby, come and eat.
That was 30 years ago, Montana. <laughs> and some Sundays I still close my eyes and I can smell those pancakes like it was just yesterday. So yeah, love does matter. Now, when you find love, and you will, baby. No, no. <laughs> Don't ever let it go. Oh, God. I love you, Mom. <laughs> I love you, too. You can have really great sex while you're looking. <laughs> she can. Yeah, we get it, Gail. You like to bone. Montana! Did you enter the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes? Montana, you should come take a look at this. I think the King of Zamunda might be here to see you. Oh, that's Quentin. That is Quentin. Mm -hmm. That's who you were supposed to meet at the rehearsal? That's, oh, that's the one that gave you... The, those diamonds are... Mm -hmm. Those diamonds are real. Montana! Oh! <laughs> Honey, get ready. Go down there. No. I'm not. No. What are you doing, Gail? Put that bracelet down. Put no. the bracelet down. Put the bracelet Gail. down. I want to stop you, you from doing something we do. will all regret. It's okay. It's okay. We can all retire off that bracelet. Quinton. Hey. Hey. I apologize for being late. I had an event that ran longer than expected. I hope I didn't ruin anything for you. Look, I thought about what you said in Los Angeles. I said a lot. And I listened. I want more than extravagant trips and expensive gifts. They're nice. They're really nice. But I want a lifetime. And as silly as it may sound, I'm not going to settle for anything less. And as silly as it sounds, I don't think you should. Thanks. I can't see. I can't see. It was super brave. Thanks. That was super stupid. Ah, 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 ah. He just wanted international travel booty. That man could have had intergalactic travel booty. So who gave you this? William. Did William wrap that himself? Boy can wrap a gift. You gonna open it? No. Okay, I'll open it. Hey, hey, she said she doesn't want to open it. That's why I'm going to open it. You want it? Yes. I would. I would. I would. Touch I would. my hand. I'll open it. God, you guys, I've had enough drama for one night. Well, you Stop you it. Open it. Open it. I'll open it. Oh. That's right. Really. Um. Is William going through a little bit of a financial situation? When we were seven, he proposed to me with a toy ring. And I laughed at him. And he said, someday. Oh. It's a 
a plane ticket. Is it? Hey now. Okay. This is a plane ticket to France. He wants you to marry a Frenchman. Gil. He was going to take his girlfriend to Italy for their one year anniversary, and I said, if it was me, I would have chosen France. What date is that ticket for? Today. At 11.45 p.m. Hey, 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 my brother, I'm having with trans life. Let me have with your bag. Oh, no, I'm good, bro. Bro, bro. You can't go in there with the liquids in jail. You got liquids in jail in your bag. Brother, you don't have no lotion or nothing? No, I don't. So let me get this right. You out here for the holidays just ashy? Come on, brother, you already dark skinned. Brother, we got a black president. I am not seeing this. Happy holiday, bro. I couldn't hold it. Okay, how may I help you, sir? Uh, I'm going to Paris. All right, I need your passport. You yes. Go. Okay. Calvin couldn't stop him. I'm gonna text Tanya and Cedric. All right. Here you go. Actually, oh, oh, these computers are always doing something weird. Just give me one second, okay? How are you enjoying the holidays? Just start snowing yet? Paris sounds amazing. Is that what the Eiffel Tower is? I'm sorry, Mr. H. Just give me one quick second. Wait, good luck. We love you. Really? Really? Finally! I got it, Mr. Wright. Here's your ticket. Enjoy your trip to Paris. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. Your gate is that way. Thank you for flying Trans Alliance. Have a safe flight, Mr. Wright! Montana? Well, yeah. Oh, my God. I just, because I, I, I just I saw, saw your plane leave, and I thought you were gone. No, no, no. The agent, she entered the wrong gate on my boarding pass. But I thought you, I thought you finally got your proposal. But I said no. You said, no husband? No Taylor? Not anymore. Well, the only baggage I got is on the way to France right now. It's just me. What? We are trying to stay with the with the Cracker Jack box. I don't understand. No, listen. I was standing alone in my apartment, right? And I realized why wasn't it gonna be finished? It wasn't going to be finished because you weren't in it. 
And I realized that that little Cracker Jack box ring, it wasn't gonna fit no more. So, I found one that would. Montana Christina Moore. For the second time, and this time for all the right reasons, would you marry me? Yes, yes, yes. William. After 30 days and 30,000 miles of searching the skies for Mr. Wright, turns out he was living across the hall the whole time. And with any luck, He'll work the same job, drive the same truck, and love the same woman for the rest of his life. Woo! We did it! Yes! Oh, woo! We did it! Oh, I'm so glad woo. that's over. Now I can finally get back to my life. <laughs> Which starts this weekend. I have a date with an amazingly gorgeous man. Oh, looks like I got a hot date too. Oh, Sam. He, he works, works at the, the Renaissance. Renaissance. Well, mine's, mine's the manager. manager.